What is going on guys? Long time. So I'm back with another Java tutorial and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you could actually create a text GUI. So let's get started. I am going to start with a new Java package. And this is a very simple text GUI. So I'm going to just call it simple.textGUI and that's the Java package. And let's get started. I'm just going to have a, a main class that is just going to, um, yes, add it, sure. So here is what we have at this point. You know what, I, so here's my whole intent. If you remember, I actually had uh, a uh, video that I published, which uh, was, was explaining how you could actually do a, uh, school management system mostly driven towards uh, object-oriented programming and um, I think it's come on where is that sort by most popular come on yeah so here it is so in this video I did not do a GUI and uh, so so most of you guys were commenting about how 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 a text GUI could be done and here is my response to it so what we are trying to do is basically uh, a follow up for up for for that video right there but i'm not going to do every um, you know i'm just going to uh, create a GUI which would ask people to enter like a like a calculator application I'm going to just make a calculator application that would um, make uh, people to just enter two numbers and and you know I'll explain what's going on so to always remember to start a GUI we have to start with a while loop uh, and it's going to be always an infinite while loop so so oops I have to put this while inside a main method so I'm going to create my main method public static void main and uh, so here's my while loop at this point I have my while loop here and guess what I'm going to just show you some some cool thing which you already expect and that that is let's let's try and run this main method so look it keeps on going and going and going forever and that is the rule of a while loop uh, which is running forever while true is a is a is a way for us to keep running the same set of code over and over again so i want to keep that right there just like that and uh, you know what I'm going to create a function and I'll call it public uh, static well do we have to make it static we'll figure it out public wide ask for numbers and so this uh, method is just going to ask the user enter to number okay now the first thing that we have to take care inside this while loop is we want to figure out if the user wants to do addition subtraction multiplication or division whatever the user's preference is so first let's uh, try and see if user wants to do uh, addition subtraction multiplication or division so you know what I'm going to say enter your choice okay and one for addition two for subtraction three for division and four for multiplication all right so we have this all you know set up so basically it keeps on asking the user what does the user want to do now 
I'm going to have a variable here and I'm going to first of all accept the value that the user enters. So I'm going to say scanner and obviously I want to import the library. Scanner, uh, you know, in equals new scanner. And I want to accept the, the value from the system, system dot in. So scanner in equals new scanner that would accept a value from the user. Now once we have that, I'm just going to say int option. I'm going to first declare, I'm just going to declare an option variable inside my main method. And um, at this point, all I'm going to do is I'm going to say option equals in dot next int. Or you know what I could actually also do in dot next and we'll cast it to an integer. I think that would be a better thing to do at this point. Oops, what's wrong? Oops, yeah, I should have I should have said integer dot parse int accepting a string. Alright, so I think this is fine at this point. So this is our option variable. Now say supposing what do we want to do at this point? If the user enters one, we want the, the system to do addition and two for subtraction, three for division, four for multiplication. Now, I'm going to write the same option here. If option equals one, right? Then we want the, we want the uh, computer to ask for two numbers, okay? And for that, you know what? I'm going to first declare int number one comma number two basically um, number one and number two are the numbers on which we operate and uh, yeah so we want to ask for numbers right ask for numbers look at this now non-static method cannot be referenced from a static context that means we want to make this method a static so it could be working fine with whatsoever problem you know even if, I mean the problem is that it was not static okay so we basically what this is going to do is it's just going to ask the enter the user to enter two numbers and um, now user is going to enter two numbers we want to capture those numbers right so the way I capture that is number one equals again use the same scanner in dot next int. Guess what? I could actually copy and paste it here. The same code. Number two is again the same code again. So we captured two numbers. Now what we're going to do is just pop, you know put out the result, and the result is the sum is number one plus number two and that's it okay now as soon as that is done I'm going to say else if if option is number two let's just say the user enters number two as their option so if option is number two all I'm going to do is repeat the same thing. This time, instead of doing a, a addition, I'm going to just say subtraction, and I'm going to say sum the differences. Oh, you know what's going on here? Number one is an integer with a number two. Oh, I see. Got it. Okay. So, so this print print ln expects a string and uh, we are passing in a number so basically let's just say something like this happens for us what is going on now is come on 
okay so let's create a new file really quick now according to us 3 plus 4 should be 7 but what what this code right here would do is it's going to say 34 can you guess why because Java is, ex is treating 3 as a string 4 as a string and uh, plus is just a string concatenation we don't want that to happen we want the uh, Java to return a string so how do we do that the way we do that is by is by saying something like this int sum is this one number one plus number two and we are just going to print the sum that's it likewise um, int difference is number one minus number two and we're just going to print the difference on on the on the screen right and let's just copy paste it quick we don't have much time on this video this video is not uh, not a text GUI building for the school system this video is just to show you how you could build a text uh, GUI for your project in general and this time it is going to be a uh, third option is division right so we get the quotient and uh, we'll, we'll make this a float no float is number one over number two and uh, we want to display the quotient value all right so in the end what are we left with choice four right choice four is going to be the the multiplication product and i'm going to say number one number two is all the same and here is number one over oh, number two number one times number two that is uh, quotient you know what we could actually make everything as a float just to maintain uniformity although that is not the purpose of this video anyway so we have everything taken care right now let's see what's going to happen if we try and run this Look, it's asking, enter your choice. One for addition, two for subtraction, three for division, four for multiplication. Now let's just say I enter one, enter two numbers. Look at that. It's asking me two and three. The sum is 5.0. Again, it's asking me the same thing. If I say two now, enter two numbers, three and five. The difference is minus 2.0 because three minus five is minus two. And you know, I can, I can keep continuing. I can say three, enter two numbers, four and eight. 78 the oops I should have worded it the quotient is right because I entered choice 3 which is supposed to be the quotient is and the product is and you know I mean the whole the, the reason why I ran this uh, program was to show you that you know there is no way for us to break it, right? There is no way for us to get out. We, um, yes, there is a way for us if we click on this red button right here, but that's not what we want. We want the user to enter a number and it would break out of this uh, infinite uh, loop. You know, this keeps on going and going and going for as long as the user wants to play around. So we want to be able to, you know, ask the user to, um, you know if he doesn't want to play he he would be in a position to quit so let's just incorporate that feature as well and uh, the way we do that is is um, so I'm going to say option 5 and I'm going to say exit and uh, let's you know let's make it a little uh, in the next line okay so this time I'm going to say else if option is 4 it's going to do that 
and then finally the last option is automatically option 5 for that I'm, I'm just going to say else break now what this break does is is it gets out of this infinite while loop and it just closes the program out now let's try again executing this and and you see okay enter your choice I'm going to this time say division enter two numbers 45 and 5 the quotient is 9.0 again it's asking um, automatically what do you want to do so let's just say I'm going to say 4 and enter two numbers 23 and 123 the product is 2829 now this time let's just say I want to get out all I do is I just hit 5 and the, prog uh, the, the program is done so this is how you basically create a text GUI and uh, the reason why it's called text GUI is you see uh, it is interacting with you in textual form it is not a graphical user interface so that's the whole intent behind calling it as a text GUI and um, yeah I mean for for that uh, video here that we were talking about you could actually create the same logic and you could add teachers you could ask the user whether he wants to add a teacher whether he wants to remove a teacher uh, you could ask the user uh, whether he wants to assign some payments to the student or the teacher and the whole whole concept of building a text GUI is built on top of this the simple idea that it's it's built on top of um, the infinite while loop and yeah so that is how you actually do a text GUI if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share thank you